Alrighty, so today I'm going to be drawing a naked mole rat. That is correct. I bought this notebook yesterday, and so today I'm also going to be using this notebook right here for the first time. This is a Soho Urban Artist sketchbook. It's 5.5 by 8.5 inches. It's got 100 sheets in it, and all the paper inside this notebook right here is 75 pounds. Uh, Weight-wise, I do suppose, and it's in some plastic, so I do suppose I should probably get it all out, right? So let's go ahead and get that all out. Let's go and unbox this notebook right here. It's my first time using this model of a Soho Urban Artist sketchbook. I've previously had one before and I had a pretty good experience with it. The model I had previously was a 65 pound model with a slightly different size, but I expect this to be pretty good as well. So I am looking forward to using this notebook for the first time today, that is for sure. Uh, these notebooks were on sale at my local art store for like $3.50 a pop. And I was like, man, 75 pound paper, 100 sheet. You get the ring stuff and everything like that kind of thing for $3.50 a pop when I think they were like usually like six bucks. I was like, this is almost half off, bro. I got to get myself a bunch. And so I got like six of them for $20. Great ass deal. Great ass deal. Honestly, if I enjoy using this book right here, I might just have to give myself, I might just have to run by there again and get myself like six more because uh, deals for notebooks don't pop up like that very much. But right off the bat, ooh, I'm actually not such a big fan of the texture. I mean, like, I don't think I'll mind using it by any means, but yeah, I'm actually not such a big fan of the texture. Oh man. Oh, well. It is what it is. You live and you learn. Maybe I shouldn't have bought six notebooks in one go, but it is what it is kind of thing. Well, either way today, oopsies, either way today, I am indeed going to be drawing a naked mole rat, you know what I'm saying? Even with my uh, dissatisfaction about this paper so far, at least. Uh, but I do think without further ado, let's go ahead and, uh, well, talk about the pen that I'm going to be using to draw the naked mole rat in today's video. I'm going to be using my Pilot Metropolitan uh, pen with a, a Pilot G2 a 0 0.7 millimeter uh, insert inside of it. And I do think without further ado, let's go Go ahead and get right to drawing. Uh, so as said today, I'm drawing a naked mole rat. So I think I kind of just want to freehand this today. I think I just kind of want to start like up here and then like have it go down. I don't, I also don't know what a naked mole rat looks like. So we're going to be finding this out as we go. I'm going to draw an eye right there. I'm going to draw an eye right there. And then we're just going to kind of have this come down. And there we go. What are y'all thinking? What are y'all thinking? Does that look like a naked mole rat? Uh, not really. I actually really like this drawing, but it's definitely not a naked mole rat. I have a vision in my head, and the vision started with this, and then I kind of just lost it as I continued drawing this. So I think I'm going to need another go. I ain't going to lie. Also, I'm going to go ahead and flip that page over, and I'm going to go and try again. Although I will admit that drawing is very interesting, and I am pretty happy with it, but it's not quite what I'm trying to draw today. So let's go ahead and try this again. I think I'm going to go ahead and just go for like this kind of thing. And I kind of want it to look like a little bit, uh, not scratchy per se, but a little bit kind of uneven and whatnot. That's kind of the goal for the video today. And let's go ahead and make a nose now. And then you've got two little nostrils right there and some hair on their nostrils and whatnot, right? And then let's go and have this come down. And let's go and give them two little arms. Just like that. That's definitely a little bit better. I ain't gonna lie. That's definitely a little bit better. I am actually pretty happy with this drawing. I know it's not like a super realistic drawing of a naked mole rat, but in all honesty, I am actually pretty happy with it. I ain't gonna lie. I think it kind of looks pretty funny and it's a nice little just a uh, character or something like that. Uh, I think I'm, I kind of want to put a mouth on it. Uh, I kind of want to give this a character a mouth, but I think I want the mouth going like that kind of thing. There we go. I think that's made it just a little bit better. I ain't gonna lie. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. It's a little bit uneven and whatnot, and I do kind of want to give it one more go, so I think that's exactly what I'm gonna go ahead and do. And, uh, yeah, no, overall, I don't think I'm drawing an ultra-realistic naked mole rat by any means, but I am pretty happy with it, how it is turning out. And let's try to do this one a little bit smaller kind of thing, and I think I'm gonna start down here and then kind of just work my way 
a little bit up and then just come back down like that. Let's go and give it two little eyes up here. And then like a nose, like right here. And I want to do this one like a little bit smaller kind of thing. And I did just smear that a little bit. That's okay though. And then let's have this come down. Just like that. What am I thinking about this? What am I thinking about this? Do I want to kind of make it, give it some more uh, details? What am I thinking? I kind of think I want to do that. I kind of want to do this again. I think this is pretty good though. I'm pretty happy with this, I ain't gonna lie, but I kind of want to do it again. I feel like I, the more I draw this, the more better I'm getting at while well, drawing this in all honesty. So I kind of want to draw it one more time. In all honesty, I'm actually really enjoying this. This is a completely different character uh, from what I normally draw, but it's something that's still very interesting to me. I think kind of what I want to do with this one is I actually want to make the naked mole rat like look like it's standing up. I think that once I want to make that my goal, and I'm trying to think of how I want to do that. And I'm thinking the best way to do that is to kind of do. I need to do both sides, and so it's not kind of shot off to one side kind of thing. So everything is more even. So I think I'm going to start off by. And I'm going to do this one a little bit smaller. Kind of go like this kind of thing. Just on both sides. Just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the feet first. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I am kind of regretting putting the black on there. It just kind of looks like he's wearing nail, pol nail polish now, which is not the look I was going for. Uh, but I don't think it's a terrible look either way. Honestly, though, this has been really fun. This has been really fun. I think I'm going to leave it there. I think I'm going to leave it there. I don't really have any other ideas on how to make this better. Um, I kind of wanted to make this... I kind of want the, I think one thing maybe that I want to do in the future if I try this again is to make the uh, feet wider and then have this area in the middle be smaller. Um, but overall, no, I'm definitely more happy with it than not. And uh, I think this has definitely been a fun little way to uh, kind of create a new little character kind of thing. I like this little character. I think it looks funny and uh, it might not look exactly like a naked mole rat, that is for sure, but it certainly has been fun to draw nonetheless, that is for sure. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video where I drew a naked mole rat. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video of course please make sure to uh, like and subscribe for more content i have my instagram my book my merch my po box and my uh, main channel all in the description down below go check it all out but you know thank you very much for watching y'all to the next one stay safe and peace and have a great one yes sir yes sir you know what i'm saying i'm saying